Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. I am Marcus Aurelius, and this is Crusader Kings 2 After the End. And we are the Kingdom Gigantico, known as Gran Francisco. And this is Clyde. Clyde's a dick. Clyde is trying to usurp my daughter Sunset's authority over the prefecture of the Redwoods, and he is 90% successful in that quest. We are trying very hard to murder him, but it's just not, it's just not working. It's just not working. I'd like to become a banker. That would be really neat. But I thought I needed more money. Oh, it doesn't matter how much personal wealth you have. It just matters how much. Let's, do, let's be a banker. So what being a banker means is that other people can borrow money from me, but I presume at interest... So now that I am a banker, what does that mean? This character is in the business of loaning out substantial sums of gold to other rulers. Let's see. Let's see if that yields benefit for me. So there's a couple things we're waiting for. We're waiting for this war to end, and then we're waiting for... Chief Norman of Kennebec is seeking a five-year loan at 25% interest. If we pay one-fourth of the principal, other lenders will finance the rest, and we will receive one-fourth of the principal in interest. Sure. Fine investment, 25 gold. That's fine. All right. I thought I moved from San Jose. Well, whatever, let's go to Napa. All right. And I'm just gonna have to... And Chief Norman paid his debt in full, including interest. No, no, ooh. He discovered a plot. Can we do something about that? Who's Norman? Ah, Norman of Redwood in Revolt. Can I imprison him? Apparently not. I guess I could just tell him to end his plot, but I can't imprison him. But he's trying to fabricate a claim on my daughter. Why, why am I so weak? Why can't I use the full might of the Kingdom of Grand Francisco to crush these fools? So I can't, apparently I, I can't imprison him. We used to be able to do that. If you found somebody was... Plotting. Alright, we'll just end the plot. He won't. I, re I really thought I could imprison people. Well, it doesn't matter. This other guy's gonna win before he even gets a chance. Alright. So Sunset is back in my court. No, she's imprisoned. All right, Prefect Dipshit. You are about to feel the full wrath of the House Aurelius. Title cannot be the target or justification for any ongoing war. Oh, man, we have to wait till the war ends, I guess. I don't know. Oh, right, because they're fighting this, this asshole. Alright, well, now that that's done, we don't have to kill this guy anymore. So we can cancel the plot. Oh, man. I'm going to wreck you. Use as you see fit. Prefect Clyde of Redwoods decided to not risk upsetting his vassals and confess to the allegations of corruption. It will take some time before his prestige. Excellent. Screw you, Clyde. What did you get? What did you get? I'm going to set you as a special interest character. I'm going to revoke your title. Can we do it yet? 
Can we please end this war, guys? I want to. I just want to kill this guy. I want him to feel the pain. And he better release my kid from prison too. Her betrothed is in prison too. All right, Clyde. Retract vassalage. Who can we retract? My, my sunset. Maybe. Hmm. But I'd go over my limit of counties. That's the problem. But I need to get my daughter out of jail. That's what I really need to do here because it's going to have a deleterious effect on her health. Tell him about kindness. The Knights of Columbus. In these turbulent times, the Pope in New Rome has decided to revise an ancient brotherhood. Revive. The Knights of Columbus, an antediluvian organization, has been hereby reestablished and will now take up the sword in the defense of Christendom. Quietly encourage Embarcadero. All right, you need to let my daughter out of jail, or I'm going to rock you like a hurricane. Are you serious? You're trying. You're trying. Oh, man. Okay, this. We need to get this guy. We need to get this guy, Clyde. I mean, he's being protected right now because someone's rebelling against him, basically. And that is bull. Revoke title. Can we revoke? No, we can't revoke county. Alright, so we need... This damn war needs to stop. This is ridiculous. I think the guy's just about to win, I think. Let's see. All right, so he's it's 35% in his favor. Okay, Raiders, but I don't care. I won't let fear rule my life. Okay, Naveen is winning. Now he's marching on Humboldt. Meanwhile, is my daughter still in prison? You son of a bitch. This guy. Right here. This guy. He is not going to know what hit him. We're trying to stir up the shit here. Is there enough people that want him to die? 75% flop power. It's better. Better, but not perfect. I just have to wait patiently for this guy to defeat him. Alright. Princess North Beach. She's going to have a rough time of it. She's trusting. I'm going to raise her personally. Yeah. Okay, jackholes, this is going a bit too far. Nicole, will you please? Thank you. Wow, Nicole likes me a lot now. She's giving me some troops. This bodes well for when we want to invade Tuolumne. Let's wait a little bit. Yep. You bet. You can have a loan, buddy. In fact, I have plenty of money now to make some improvements to my holdings. 
Keep's really expensive, though. Holy crap. What does Santa Cruz have? Castle Town, we've already got. Monterey is ours now. Also has a castle ground, but it can have a keep level 1 for 287. We'll do that. Although, maybe I... Well, it's too late now. Maybe I shouldn't, because I might not hold on to Monterey. Alright, come on. Come on, get that morale up. Are you kidding me? The chase wife is pregnant again. Now that guy's dead back. Alright. Go to Marin. Yeah, he's not getting arbitrary. Help, please. There we go. Alright. No special, no retinues. Okay, perfect. Let's get back to Grand Francisco. Alright, it's April in 2701. Are we still at peace with these guys? No. Alright. Let's press our claim on Tuolumne. All right, here we go. And we just got levy reinforcement rate higher. Perfect. Military. Raiders everywhere. I don't care. All right, let's raise personal levies. Vassal levies. And I think we should get some mercenaries too. The Cult of Apple has done well for us in the past. Alright, so you three. Let's see if you can't get to Santa Cruz before they cut you off. We're in good shape here. We're going to head on over to San Jose. We'll meet these guys. You do that also. My leash, I have tried to rebuke Mayor Bertram of Napa... Oh, shoot. He likes me less. Alright, we don't... We don't need these troops up here. That's fine. Wow, the valley's a lot stronger than it used to be. 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, 5,000. This is going to be interesting. All right, Marin, get your guys to San Jose, please. Death and taxes. It may be boring, but it is a crucial task for any king to ensure that his expected tax revenue matches the rents paid by his vassals. Your old world erythometer has made it much easier for you to do just that. You feel much more confident calculating the expected contents of your treasury and can ensure that the numbers reported by your advisors are accurate. This enhances my reputation for shrewdness. 50 gold, 25 prestige, one stewardship, and I'll become the shrewd. I'm more machine than man. And I get the calculator title. Or, some of my vassals are short a few coins. I get 10 gold, 10 prestige. Why would anyone choose that? Alright, I'd rather be the shrewd than the calculator, I guess. What does that do for me? Oh, it's just a title? Well, it's cool that they at least... Truce Breaker? What? I checked! Oh man, you guys... You guys are in for it. That's all I have to say. 19, 13, who's next? Blanken? I don't remember you, but... Let's go crush these guys. Yeah, you'd better run. Alright, a new heir. At least this one's a, a boy. Alright, so we've already done... What's left? Um, We have North Beach. We have... How about Bay Point? Bay Point... Aurelius. Alright. Here we come.
And somebody has declared a revolt against Clyde for my son, Prince Embarcadero. Meanwhile, the current... this I'll never be able to get my daughter out of prison. There's just revolt after revolt after revolt. Her health is down by one. We need to fix this. How do I get her out of prison? I mean, this guy is in perfect shape. As long as he keeps getting people declaring revolts against him. And he's attacking... Oh, he's, yeah, I'm the reason he's attacking the valley. Prefect. So he's winning both wars. Well, I don't have time to worry about that right now. I have to worry about conquering Tuolumne. Which I'm just about to do. And so sad about your big army. Is that the valley? Reports from San Jose speak of strange foreign ships arriving in the harbor. The ships fly unknown flags, and their design is unlike those of the local merchants. The foreign ships are larger than normal galleys, and their sails and rigging appear to be in poor condition after a long voyage. They have anchored themselves a respectful distance from the docks, and the local authorities are requesting that you deal with the outlanders, or outsiders, if and when they dispatch landing parties. Yeah, let's give an event. Why not? A foreign audience. One of the foreigners steps forward and speaks in the archaic tongue of the old world. Though his words are stilted and heavily accented, you can understand some of what he says, and your court scholars are able to fill in the rest. The spokesman explains that they are explorers and merchants traveling far across the ocean to bring knowledge and wealth to their patron. Recent discoveries and court fashions have spurred a desire for certain goods that have been absent or scarce in their homeland for centuries. He claims you stand to be enriched as well by this lucrative trade. As you speak with him, the other foreigners occasionally converse quietly in a wholly unknown language. We can give them access, which will give us plus 5 tax modifier, but also lose 20 karma. We can trade, but they will pay tariffs, which will give us gold and the same tax modifier. We can gain a bunch of karma. No, okay, let's let them trade but with tariffs. Perfect. All right, so we're in kind of trouble here. Did we lose one of our people? Ari, what are you doing, buddy? All right, so what we need, to, what we need to do now is split in half. And this group will be Willis, I guess, Decker, and Tamor. And you guys are going to go to Grand Francisco and help them while you guys are going to siege Tuolumne. Yeah, sure, give her kind. That's cool. And the raiders are leaving. So sick of these raiders. All right, now that you guys are back, let's go take El Dorado, I guess. Or just Dorado. Assassin, oh yeah, great. We gain an Intrigue, which is part of our quest to get better at Intrigue. All right, let's, we can raise the speed up a little bit. I watched my son Embarcadero play with another child yesterday and noticed that he didn't want to share his toys. Gave him a lecture on charity. He has become charitable. If only it were that easy. You have hired an old assassin to teach you how best to thwart the efforts of his kind. He has taught you several valuable lessons, like never sitting with your back toward a door and to never stay long in an inn that smells of manure. Alright. Certainly valuable advice. Okay. Wow, it's taking forever to get... Chief... Oh, yeah. Sure. 
There's a Brumer here that humbled, and one of the local nobles will be corrupt. Use it. Prefect Clyde. It's gonna give me some more money. Hate you, Clyde. Wow. I mean, do these guys have a huge amount of troops somewhere that I just can't see? Oh, technology. Light infantry, heavy infantry, cavalry. Well, my, my retinue is cavalry. But what are the majority of my forces? Light infantry and heavy infantry for the most part. Very small amount of heavy cavalry. All right, let's do heavy infantry. Oh, wait, but what about military organization? Morale? Yeah, that's what I want. Much better choice. Yep. I love being a banker. This is great. I mean, they pay like in five minutes. More like five seconds. This place is a mess. Meanwhile, my daughter has grown up and she's still in jail and she's ill. Clyde, serious dog. You're pissing me off. How about a plot to get her out of jail? That would be cool. Can we... Characters will like you having... Okay. Retract vassalage of my daughter. Make her my direct vassal. Then I'll have one county too many, but I can give away San Joaquin. And Sunset, did she die? She did. My daughter died because of you, Clyde. It's personal now. And I have, ooh, I have more lands to give away. What did I get? I have County of Redwood and the County of Eureka. Which I'm probably going to lose anyway. Alright, Redwoods. Let's, uh... Don't want to lose another daughter to this godforsaken place. At least she's an adult. She can take care of herself. I have to invite her to court, and she won't come. She's not in a lesser union. Damn it. Alright, can you, will you come to my court? Alright, fine. It's a matrilineal marriage, isn't it? Alright, now she's in my court. You're going to get the County of the Redwoods. Include lower titles. Okay, those that's the valley. I get it. Let's just leave them be for right now. We're also going to give you the County of Eureka. Why can't we give you the County of Eureka? Uh, 
I don't know. Well, ladies and gentlemen, time's up. But next episode, we're going to figure out how to give my daughter more land. We're going to get rid of Clyde for his evilness in killing my daughter Sunset. And we're going to continue our war against the Valley for Tuolumne. So once again, I'm Marcus Aurelius. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good one.